Hello again everybody, Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools as we continue to sift through and digest what has happened across the mid-state with storm damage from the overnight. Behind me, Stoner Creek Elementary, which certainly sits behind West Wilson Middle School. Uh, you've seen some shots earlier on our Facebook page and other social media, the damage from West Wilson. Well, this is Stoner Creek. And, um, it just can't be said enough, folks, how thankful we should be that no students were in this building, West Wilson's building, at the time that these storms came roaring on through. Um, I'm looking out straight towards West Wilson. You can see a, a little bit of a ground level path line. Really just unbelievable, really unbelievable. The path that it took and for it to really seemingly take on both West Wilson and Stoner Creek as direct hits. Now, information I have so far, uh, West Wilson, Stoner Creek are the only two schools with significant to heavy damage. Uh, this could be considered beyond heavy damage. This is likely a total loss. We'll just see how this all plays out. But uh, other schools, minor to none. So that's the good news in this, but um, definitely right here in the heart of Mount Juliet, West, West Wilson Middle and Stoner Creek Elementary, uh, heavy, heavy damage. People have asked, uh, how can I help? We get that question a lot today so far. I spoke with Director of Schools, Dr. Donna Wright, a little bit earlier, and uh, her message is, hey, we are a giving community, and that is much appreciated. It's just that at this point, as a district, we don't even know really what to ask for, but rest assured, uh, if the time comes that we need to call in the community for help of certain needs or items, those sorts of things, uh, you will be called upon, and we'll certainly relay that information, so don't worry about that. Uh, in the background, I've been showing you some video of Stoner Creek and um, quite the devastation, really quite unbelievable, uh, at a loss for words. And um, for someone like me, that's kind of hard to do, but that's where I am. I'm at a loss for words. I don't know really how to fully describe this. The pictures speak for themselves. They really do. Uh, but what we've just been talking about as a district, um, I've talked to Dr. Wright again, our, our director of state, uh, safety, uh, Mr. Steve Spencer, no students were in the building. No teachers, no staff. No life lost in these buildings. Um, don't want to presume anything at all, but if this was a school day, I, I don't know what, how catastrophic this ultimately could have been. So we're very thankful uh, of how the situation did played out despite the circumstances. So why don't you have a look at Stoner Creek and um, I'll try to provide another update or two later on in the day. But again, uh, Mount Juliet Road, uh, North Mount Juliet Road near West Wilson is now open again. I noticed that traffic moving uh, back and forth uh, just a few moments ago. So that road is open near West Wilson. Uh, if there's any more updates, I'll certainly let you know. But again, a look.